Hi Duty Nistas, it's me the Pecan Tan Beauty and welcome to my channel or as always I welcome you back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quick video where I am actually in the process of restuffing and storing my bags back that I carried in the month of June. So I already have all of my bags here out and ready to put my bags in so I thought that I would just do a video to share with you guys the bags that I carried for the month of June so if you have been following my channel you know that I pretty much change my bags almost every single day on the weekends I don't really change out I might carry a wristlet or a little barrel bag or something like that but during the week I normally switch out my bags every day so if again you follow my Facebook group you know that I had something going on for the month of June and time just kind of got away from me and I didn't really care too much about organization or storing my bags back so this is what I have, you guys. I just pretty much grabbed a bag, carried it, and I just pretty much threw it on the shelf. Normally, I would restuff them and put them back in the bag. But for the month of June, as I said, I had some things going on. And I just kind of put them on the shelf as I got done carrying them. So let me just first share with you this beautiful bear that I have here. And this bear was made for me by one of my beautiful subscribers here. And I think I actually shared this with you guys before, maybe a year or so ago. But again, if you have been following me for a while, you know that my grandmother, who is very, very dear to me, passed away on December 25th, 2013. And she wanted to do something really, really nice for me because she knew how close I was to my grandmother. So she made this cute little bear. And you guys, this bear is so special to me because it is made from my grandmother's clothing. So basically the ears and all this purple is made from a robe that I gave to her and so she cut the robe up and she used some of the pieces as some of the accent points of this beautiful cute little bear and the the yellow part of it is actually made from a dress of hers and also the buttons came from that dress and also this cute little skirt it was from the collar of that dress that belonged to my grandmother. So I am so, so blessed for her and I am so blessed to have been able to have this bear personally made for me. So thank you, girl. I hope things are going well with you. So let's just get into these bags. And this is in no particular order. This is just how I stored them after I uh, after my day was over and I was in the process of choosing my next bag. So the first bag is my, all these bags are Dooney and Burke. And the first one is my Nylon Olivia in the color blue. Then I have my Pebbled Leather Olivia in the color red. And here I have my Florentine Leather Bristol in the color violet and I'm not going to take these bags off the shelf because I don't want to create any corner wear from the sliding in and out but you guys have seen these bags before and this one was actually a deal of the century for me I think I paid $30 for this bag new with tags I had been wanting to try this style but I wasn't happy about paying full price or even half price for it just to try it out. So I was so lucky to be able to get this one about a year or so ago. This is the Florentine Leather Side Pocket Hobo in the color Chestnut. 
And this is another bag that I am excited to have in my collection. This is the medium male bag, Florentine leather in the color black. I really, really enjoy carrying this one. And this style is another one of my favorites or bag that has become my favorite. This is the zip pocket sack and this is in the color chestnut. Then we move down to the second shelf and this is my pebbled leather Chelsea shopper in the color green. Absolutely enjoyed carrying this one. And the next bag is one of my unicorn bags that I purchased from one of the ladies here on YouTube. Absolutely love this bag. I was so excited when she decided to get rid of it. And this is the Toledo Leather Satchel in the color purple. Absolutely love this bag. And this next bag is kind of like a travel bag for me, but I did carry it for a work day in the month of June. And this is the Calf Leather Convertible Shopper. Absolutely love this bag. It is great for travel as well because as you can see, I don't have it stuffed. It folds up really nice and neatly. So, and you don't have to worry about creases or damaging the bag or anything else. So absolutely enjoyed carrying this one. And this is my Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Kingston Hobo in the color natural. Another one of my beater bags and I absolutely love this style. It has a nice little shoulder strap, and I'm sure you guys have seen these, these straps before. Absolutely enjoyed carrying the Kingston. So one of the accessories that I carried for June was my medium Florentine leather cosmetic case. I'm sorry, the large, this is the large size. I love, love, love these cosmetic cases. Holds all of my goodies. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is one of my favorite bags. I really enjoyed carrying this bag for the month of June. This is, as you guys know, one of my very favorite styles. And it is the Clayton. This is in the color violet. And I also carried my denim Clayton absolutely love it as well as my natural Buckley so moving down to the bottom shelf this is one of my newer acquisitions in my collection and this is the signature fabric tote if I'm not mistaken I absolutely love this bag I enjoy carrying it it as well and here I have my black Florentine leather East West Chelsea Shopper, one of my favorite style totes. And here I have my, I think this is called a Santorini drawstring. Absolutely love this. I love the, the little lock closure here. Absolutely love it. And then on the last bag on this shelf is my Crimson Smith bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, this bag was one of my unicorn bags and I was so excited to be able to again find this one new with tags. Absolutely love it. Okay, so on the other shelf, on the very top, I have my medium toggle in the color natural and I love, love, love these salt lamps. I have them all over my house. I absolutely love those this one is a new one that i picked up from michael's i had a 60 percent off coupon so i picked that one up so that one is going to go up here once i get my shelf all together so here we go again with another one of my favorites this is the violet kingston hobo i really really enjoy carrying this bag i love it as a nice pop of color and next to it is my orange Kingston Hobo. And I haven't carried this one in a while. I think I've had it for maybe about a year or so. I was so excited to find this one again, new with tags at a great price. And I was so excited to be able to pull this one out 
and to show her some love in the month of June. And this is my light taupe Florentine leather zip sack. Another one of my favorites, you guys. I know I've said all these bags are my favorites, which they are. So really enjoyed carrying this bag as well, especially on the weekends as a quick grab and go bag. It's still classy. It is um, neutral. It goes with pretty much everything. So moving down to the second shelf, I have another one of my accessories. I have my little vintage coin pouch. I love this. I use it for coins. I use it for my earbuds. So absolutely enjoy carrying this little piece. And I also carried my calf leather Carrington pouch. I carried my Chevron large wristlet in the color taupe. And I also carried my fabric Carrington pouch in the Dahlia print. So next we have, you guys, this bag is actually special to me because it was one of my very first Florentine leather bags. This is the small satchel in the color moss. And as you can see, she is pebbled. She is one of my most pebbled bags. And, you know, back then, six, now I'm going to say maybe close to eight years ago, that's when I purchased this bag, eight or nine years ago. I've only carried her a handful of times. And back then, I wasn't aware or wasn't game on, you know, pebbled versus smooth and, you know, all that jazz that we all know about now. So I was so, so excited to get this bag. I absolutely loved the color. So I was happy to be able to pull her out. It brought back so many memories of when I first started my Florentine journey. So next I have my beautiful, beautiful Kelly Green medium satchel. And I was so excited about, uh, I'm gonna say about two years ago, to be able to add this color to my collection. It was one of my unicorns and the light is not doing this bag any justice at all. It is a beautiful, beautiful, rich, bright shade of green. So the next bag is my Florentine leather sandwich in the color natural and this is one that I picked up from the damaged bin at the outlet maybe about three years ago and it was in the damaged bin because it had some color transfer up in here but you guys I just took some baby wipes and that transfer came right off and it also had a little small spot here in the front but the lighting is not doing it any justice. It actually blends right in to the bag. The lighting right now is washing the color out, but it is one of my beater bags, grab and go. I don't worry about stains or anything like that. This is the perfect bag for when I want to just grab, go, and enjoy carrying my bag. So on this next shelf, we have another accessory that I carried, and this is my Dylan Leather Barrel Bag in the color Caramel. I love these little pouches, these little bags for the weekends. They are nice grab and go little bags for if you wanna to go to the grocery store or if you wanna to go to sporting events or anything like that. Very nice and handy little bags. So next, oh my gosh, I really enjoyed carrying this. This is the Florentine Leather Domed Buckle Satchel. And surprisingly, this is pretty much true to color. One of my other unicorn bags that I was so, so lucky to be able to pick up brand new with tags, again, for a great price. So I really enjoyed being able to pull out this salmon domed buckle for the month of June. Another one of my favorites here is the domed buckle satchel in the color brown tomorrow. You guys look at this stitching, look at this deep rich color. I absolutely love it. 
so here is another bag the last bag that I carried and this is my large Mindy in the color black black another one of my favorites this is a great bag for travel as well and also you know just for everyday use absolutely love it and so here is a bag I didn't carry this one for the month of June but I was considering purchasing another one in the color olive or in one of the other colors bone maybe um, so I just pulled this one out just to see this bag here is over 10 years old I'm gonna say maybe about 12 or 13 years old this is the classic satchel in the color brown tomorrow this is a classic 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 I absolutely love it this duck charm here is another classic that I absolutely love about this bag it just takes me back to 1983, 1984, Dooney and Burke. Absolutely love it. Okay guys, so again, these are the bags that I carried for the month of June that I wanted to share with you guys before I put them back on my shelves and put them back in the bags. So again, normally after I carry my bags, I put it back in the dust bag and store it. But for the month of June, it just did not happen that way. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of the bags that I carried for the month of June. Okay guys, as I always say, once you go Dooney, you go loony. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.